so welcome friends so now what we are going to do is we are going to do poly yolo so poly yolo is one of the important uh, mass carcinogen and alternative in yolo tensor flow mass carcinogen and alternative important in yolo so now what i am doing is i am going to get clone everything okay so let's see the issues also because issues will also be showing up here and there so let's go here and this will take a lot of time because uh, let's do it in https okay let's do it in https and get over here and uh, first you have to change the runtime to cgpu and connect it to host at runtime and then just paste this home git clone even it is gitlab you have to just do git clone okay so let's run this so it will take some time okay because it is a very huge file it will take some time it's a huge file it will take some time to download so now what you have to do is you have to go into this poly yellow and uh, click this poly inference uh, uh, jb and y jupyter notebook okay and now what you have to do is uh, uh, where is the so just go here and then just type percentage cd so trying with tensorflow 1.x didn't work so let's try it with this copy the path and then just paste it then run it okay then get back here then go back here and then just what you have to do is you have to copy this dependencies whether it is being installed or not you have to install it okay then just paste this so this should be correct poly yellow light so if there is no problem this will work correct okay so it is showing some error that it is telling that um, it is not configured with this thing so let's go with tensorflow oh that percentage tensorflow uh, version uh, 1.x okay so let's do it with this version so let's check it so again it is showing this error i don't know why so let's see so tensor for keras error is showing so from tensorflow normal to sequential conda we are not using any conda or anything okay let's try tensorflow 2.5 version okay so then let's try tensorflow 2 and see so still there is an error i don't know why so let's do poly yellow light okay now let's change this to 1.x and then just try this so poly yellow light also be showing some error i don't know why because the poly yellow light is over here so keras and everything is given over this so tensor flow is also given over there okay now what i have done is i have just changed this to tensorflow 1.x so now let's see i have restarted the runtime and i have just changed it so let's go to the cd body yellow 1.x and let's see now it should not show any error so using tensorflow backend right now there is no error in this so you have to restart it and use it so then then just get back here and you have to copy this Control C and come back here. Just paste it. Control V. Now you have to change this uh, models poly yellow light to uh, poly yellow light H5. So just copy this and then just paste as poly yellow light. Okay, it must not show any error. Okay. Okay. It's running but it is using 3.7 version so let's see so 
it will run for some time so let's wait so it is showing another error so it is showing that Keras error it is showing so let's see about this error control C get back here and then just paste it so the main error was just due to this h5py install so let's try this so let's go back here and then just paste this and reinstall this h5py so we have to restart the runtime okay and again get back here so get to the cd okay and then just paste this and then just run this okay then you have to get back here and just run this okay it should not show any error because we have just uh, pasted hp for h5 py because it should run in 3.8 i think so so it is running better instruction so the warning it says is that you can use tensorflow 2 where we will also do it so it's okay now so now then just get back here and uh, let's uh, go and run this okay control c and uh, get back here and run it use tf2 also we can use they are saying but we are using tf1.15 and again what you have to do is you have to copy all this thing and we have to run the detection control c get back here and control v so now first uh, let's try an image mm -hmm. so copy so, so let's try an image over here okay so it will be uploaded okay where is the image it should be over here okay it's not over here but the image file doesn't exist okay it is over here just copy the path and then just run it okay v and then just copy this path control C and get back here new folder and then just paste this and go to poly predict copy the path and paste it over here okay create a folder and paste it over here now you run this I think it should work or else we can try it on video okay it's not showing any boxes so let's try with uh, some videos so I'm gonna upload a video so upload I have it on my downloads okay I have it on my downloads over here okay let it get uploaded okay let it get uploaded so now what you can do another thing is instead of uh, this uh, images uh, you can just give content because it can find it I think so So there is a problem with image copy. I don't know why. Okay. So what how they have done is they have just given a path, a demo video path, and uh, it has found it. Okay. And uh, path images to cache. Where are the images to classification? And where the images will be saved? okay so let's see copy the path come over here test it so that's no need of uh, there is no image showing up so let's wait let the video be uploaded we will upload the video 
So, it is so simple that I have missed something that uh, what you have to do is you have to cut the images into slices and you have to feed it. So, now what I have done is I have gone to poly YOLO and uh, in poly YOLO, um, it is in poly YOLO simulator, okay, simulator data set. I have copied this simulator data set images and I have just fed it here, okay. So, this synthetic data set is also being created. So, let us see how it is working on videos. Okay, we will also test it on videos also. But the prediction is very good. So, you can see the boxes over here. So, you can go to the YOLO predict, for YOLO predict. Okay. Wait for some time. can see that prediction box is showing up so let's see whether this uh, image is being uh, done correctly so we have to give it as an image feed so in order to give it as an image feed so this images should be passed to there okay so i will show you how to do it okay so just uh, take it over here and uh, just rename it as z r t e w okay jpeg and what you have to do is you have to get here m k d i r f g make a directory called in the poly yolo path okay so it is supposed to be m make mk directory okay now it is in the this uh, f g s poly yellow path i think so in here it is fg so now what you have to do is you have to copy this copy the path from here cp minus r and then just paste this end and get back here and go to the fg copy path and paste this over here and then just run it now you have the images over here. Now what you have to do is you have to copy this path because inside the folder only you have to give the images. So that, that is the mistake I have done. So now what we can do is we have to get back here. Okay. We have to get back here. And then just run this. Okay. So it has been detected I think so. So it has been detected. So in the poly yellow predict is there is a wt or of or else what we can do is we can give a new path and make it predict over there okay and also we are going to give the uh, uh, box also so is a wt ert is not over here so it is not over here is a wt ert so let's give a new path so let's create a new folder uh, gf and uh, let's give this folder as an output folder okay copy the path and get back here and paste it over here okay so you have to give it in the directory path so now if you go to the gf wait a minute so now what you have to do is you have to get here and uh, it's in the gf path i think, think so so let's see so poly yolo gf path so now what you have to do is the prediction boxes are over here it is little bit accurate okay so it is best for the accuracy so now let's see how the it works on videos okay place all those things what i have done okay so i'll summarize all those things what i have done so what i have done is i have just git cloned it okay git cloned it and after that i have get into the path and i have chosen version 1.x and we have to choose poly yolo light not any other version and you have to install this because it will show some error in the keras format so after that you have to install this so tensorflow 1.x after installing restart the runtime and start from the first get into the directory and do everything and then just use poly yellow light here okay 
trained model polyhedral light and it will show you can use tensorflow too also so i have not used it but we can try it and now what you can do is you can give the path okay you can give the, you have to give the you have to put the images inside a folder and give the path okay now what you have to do is after finishing this we are going to given video inside this path so wait for some time so now what you have to do is i have uploaded the video it is over here so now what you have to do is you have to copy the video path and move it into a folder so i think this will work if it, does, if it doesn't work no problem we will we have done with images so let's move the path to over this to the fg path okay so it is in the fg path now so now what we will do is we will try to predict it and put the prediction in the uh, gf folder okay so let's run this so it is not an image so that is the problem so let's give it in this manner so you should just give only the image okay it's an image copy so or else what you can do is you have to take this i think so control x let's see what happens just copy it okay you can only copy images so it is not possible to copy any other format so we can only work with uh, uh, so copy this path and uh, now what we can do is uh, with the uh, videos i will just uh, tell you how to do after sometimes so with the webcam we can do i think so okay so it's oh, without polygon with polygon and all those formats are there so now it's over here with this so let's delete this file i think it's not needed so if you can see this images how you are giving now you have to give it as a bulk image and it will just predict it so it has predicted the boxes total number of boxes is 23 so when you just see there will be 23 boxes with segmentation okay this is how you do poly yolo so first we have finished with the deduction we have to go with training and other things so that would be second part of the video thank you i will give you all these things and also i have to tell you that these segmentation formats are really very hard i have just tried it uh, this is using c so it is very hard so we will go with the poly yolo itself okay it will make our work very easy so this recorded video would be a very source of information to you and me so i am summarizing it again so as you can see uh, there are two kinds of concepts if keras version doesn't work you have to use this and uh, there are other uh, there is also you have to use tensorflow 1.x and also you have to give polyolo light i am not used to polyolo okay like this you have to give and you have to define the model over here and after that giving all those things you can start using it okay so thank you this all would be available in uh, this um, polyolo or gitlab tutorial not github okay so thank you so stay with us we will do a lot of tutorials on polyolo